everyone, Jake here from Netronic. Thanks for joining me today as we gain a first look at the visual scheduling suite built by Netronic, specifically for Microsoft Dynamics Nav. The visual scheduling suite consists of three add-ins, the visual production scheduler, visual jobs scheduler, and visual service scheduler, all fully integrated into your standard nav environment. You'll notice that as I move first to my visual production scheduler, which is living here as a list item in my planning tab. As I open the visual production scheduler, you'll notice it's a standard nav page. Roll center on the left, nav menu ribbon across the top, and of course my interactive Gantt chart on my manufacturing plan. Now you'll see very quickly just how flexible I am in moving to the left or to the right, so forward or backward in the schedule. And again, as stated earlier, here I see my planned, firm planned, and released production orders as they are in NAV. I can of course jump to my resource view, in which case I see my work and machine centers on the left hand side and their allocations in the Gantt chart. As well as a load capacity view, in which case I see my complete capacity usage across production. Now the visual production scheduler boasts further features such as full configurability with regards to filtering, printing and print preview options, further calendar and time scale settings, and tons more. So let me now jump to my visual job scheduler. You'll notice the layout is very similar. Again, opening a standard nav page, roll center menu ribbon, Gantt chart, and now we're viewing our jobs. So these are my jobs as they are in my standard nav. And you'll see the hierarchy of the jobs as they are in our standard jobs module in nav is directly reflected here. And I can drill down through my job tasks into my sub job task lines. I can create extra features such as creating a dependency between job task lines. And now you can see I can drill down as far as the job planning lines and look at the specific allocations on specific resources. Again, switching to my resource view, I can see the resources and their allocations. And of course, I have a capacity load chart view here as well where I can see my capacity usage across my jobs. Now let me just jump in here to the visual service scheduler. You'll see we have a visualized dispatch board, order backlog on the right, which lets us grab our service orders and allocate them to desired resources in the Gantt chart. This is what we call our tree and Gantt chart view, and it's centric around priorities of service orders. And now I can switch to my two Gantt chart view, which for service level agreement centric companies will be much more important, much more valuable in the sense that they can now see what is the timing around completing my service orders. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick introduction to the visual scheduling suite. If you'd like more information, feel free to check us out at www.netronic.com. Thank you guys.